Namaste. Welcome to your practice. This is 30 minutes deep hip flexibility and mobility stretch class. When we talk about our hip flexibility, it's not only external rotation from your hips and inner thighs, but also have to think about your internal rotation from your hips. So right now, as we just sit up tall in cross leg, bring your fingertips on top of your hips here. And then I want you to follow where your hip bones are all connecting to, all the way toward to the back. You can feel all the way to the back. Those are all hips, right? So it's not just focusing on opening, opening our hips to the outer side, but we're going to be internally rotating our hips to bring more flexibility as well as mobility. Okay, let's begin. Walk your palms back, pressing your feet, open your legs about, shoulder distance apart, pressing your feet down, lifting up your chest, breathe in. As you exhale, drop the both legs towards the right side. Very good. Inhale, knees up. Exhale, twist to the other side. Let's twisting side to side. A few more rounds. Keep on breathing. Inhale. And exhale as you twist. Okay, two more. And one more. Very nice. Releasing both legs toward the right side. And walking your hands up to your front leg. Okay, it doesn't matter which leg is for right now. We're moving on to the other side soon. So as you hold on to the front leg, lifting up to your chest, breathe in. Exhale, just carefully lean a little bit forward and down. Flowing up and down, three more. Inhale up, exhale forward and down. One last round up, exhale down. Beautiful, bring yourself up, walk your palms back, lifting up to your knees and twist to the other side. Walking your hands up to the front leg, lifting up to your chest, breathe in, exhale, lean gently forward and down. Few more. One last round. Very nice. Bring your spine up, lean back, get your legs straight forward and gently shake it out. Good job. Cross your legs and with your right leg forward and left leg back. Sit bones pressing, arms up extending over your head. Let's interlacing your fingers and push your palms up high. Relax your inner thighs and your hips. Close your eyes. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, swing your arms behind your back. Interlacing your fingers, pressing your fist, lifting up to your chest. Take a moment to breathe in again. Exhale, carefully lean forward and down, hinging into your hip joints. Maybe your chest and forehead close towards the mat. Relax your head and neck down, lifting up your fist up high. Two. And one. Very good. Let's carefully bring our spine back up. Releasing your hands behind, plant the palms, legs straight forward, and gently shake it out. Bend your knees again, open up wide, and go ahead rocking side to side. Three, two, and one. Come back to cross leg position, and your left leg forward this time. Arms up over your head, lengthen long. Interlacing your fingers again. Feel your side body and your spine elongating. Exhale, releasing your hands behind your back again. Interlacing your fingers, lifting up to your chest. Breathe in. Exhale, let us come in forward and down. Slowly bring your spine back up. Releasing your hands down. Go ahead, take shoulder roll a few rounds. Reverse. 
beautiful and make your way to child pose towards the end of your mat with your knees wide open. Big toes together, knees wide open and send your hips back closer towards your heels. Extending arms straight forward, be a little more active child pose. Belly, chest, forehead closer to the mat. Breathe in. As you exhale, walking both hands with your torso toward the right side. Inhale, walking back to the center. Exhale, walk it to the left side. Very nice. Walking back to the center, please. On your next inhale, slowly coming forward to table and keep your knees together, touch. Cats and cows, inhale, tilt your pelvic back, relax your belly, chest and gazing forward. Feeling the front of your neck fully stretch. Exhale, carefully rounding your spine one vertebra at a time. Drop the head and neck down. Once more, inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Very nice. And now coming back to neutral, open your knees a little bit wider and move your hips side to side. Circling your hips one direction. Beautiful. And to the other direction. Good job. Coming back to the center, keep your knees together, touch again, extending right leg straight back. Lengthening long, breathe in. As you exhale, pull your right knee to your left elbow and right elbow, extending right leg straight to the side and swing back. Make these movements not only using your core, but feel your hip mobility and flexibility. Pull your knee to your left elbow, right elbow, opening up and swing back. Shall we do it one last round? Pull the knee to your left elbow, right elbow, extending straight back. Knee to your chest, and as you're shifting forward with your leg, swing your right leg over to your left leg, Opening up both legs a little bit. Send your hips back all the way. Walking your hands up to your thigh. Gomukhasana. So your knee to knee in line together. Lifting up to your chest. Arms out to T-shape. Breathe in. Exhale. Push your weight toward to the right. Releasing your right fingers. Left hand goes over your head. We'll make it flow. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, moving on to the left side. Left hand down, right hand goes over your head. Let's go once more. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, right hand down, left hand over your head. Inhale up. Exhale down. Very nice, coming back to the center, both arms up over your head, gazing at your thumbs. Exhale, rotating your wrists all the way down, shifting your way forward, uncross your right leg. This time, keep your knees and big toes together in child pose. Coming forward and back, three rounds. Inhale as you're coming forward, walking your hands a little bit more forward, lower the hips, push your belly, chest and gazing forward. Exhale, send your hips back to child pose. Twice more. Inhale, forward. Lower the hips, belly, chest, gazing forward. Exhale, send your hips back. One last round. And find your way back to child pose. Coming up tall, sit it on your heels, extending arms up over your head, interlacing your fingers and push your palms up high. Slide arch on your lower back, mid back, and see if you can lift up your chest up. Keep sending your palms up high, gazing up, breathing. Exhale, release and squeezing your shoulder blades, lifting up your heart up. Good job. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, arms down by your side. Big shoulder roll. Walk your palms forward back to tabletop position. Knee to knee touch, extending left leg straight back. Breathe in, push the ground. Creating space on your hip as you extending straight back. Exhale, knee to your right elbow, left elbow. Extending to the side and swing straight back. Twice more. Elbow, elbow, open, straight back. One last round. Elbow, elbow, swing, straight back. Beautiful. Pull the knee to your chest. Hold and breathe. And now as you're shifting the way forward, cross your left leg over to your right thigh. Send your hips back. Walk your hands forward. Carefully walking your both hands all the way up to your thigh to Gomukhasana. Relax your hips, relax your knees, arms out to T-shape, breathe in. Exhale, weight goes to the left side, releasing your left hand, right hand goes over your head. Make it flow, inhale, come up. Exhale, right hand down, left hand goes over your head. Make sure to breathe. Come up, inhale, exhale, right hand down, left hand goes over your head. One last round, inhale, up, exhale, to the left. Inhale, up, exhale, to the right. Very nice. Come back to the center. Arms up over your head. Lengthen long. Exhale, rotating your wrist, shifting the weight forward. And uncross your left leg. Make your way to wide leg child pose. Keep your knees as wide as you could and send your hips back, please. This time as you're coming forward to table, keep your knees wide open. And you may lower the hips down and peel your feet up and send your chest gazing forward. Exhale, drop the feet, send your hips back to wide leg child pose. Once more, inhale, come forward, lower the hips, feet up, push your chest and gazing up. Exhale, drop the feet, send your hips back, wide leg child pose. Breathe in. Empty it out. <sighs> Beautiful. Coming forward to table, keep your knee to knee touch and make your way to downward facing dog. Walk it out your downward dog, relax your chest, gazing down. Take full breath in. Empty side it out. Releasing your knees down to table, and I'll be facing toward to you from now. In your table to position, push the ground, extending right leg straight back. Breathe in, lengthen, exhale, swing your right leg over to the side and pressing your foot down. Let us check in the bottom knee, stay in line with your hip, and your arch is in line with your knee. And now you're ready, walk your hands a little forward so your shoulders in line with your wrist. And we take a few rounds, cats and cows. Inhale, tilt your pelvic back, drop the belly, chest, and gazing forward. Or if you could, look up toward the sky. Exhale, rounding your lower back, mid back, upper back, and chin to the chest. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Coming back to neutral. Walking your hands all the way up to your hips. Keep your hips in line, please. And make sure your hips are facing forward. Belly, sternum, chin, one straight line. Arms out to T-shape. Breathe in. Exhale. Gently push. Release softly. Extending left hand goes over your head. 
lengthening longer in gate pose to breath. One more breath. Very nice. Inhale, bring your spine back up, arms out to T-shape, and we continue to lower down toward to the left side, releasing your bottom hand down and your upper hand goes over your head. Stay two more breaths. One more. Listen up from here, releasing your upper hand down, and you're going to walk in back to the center. Bring your heel in, right heel in and toes out. Bend your knee deeply and walking both hands toward to the right leg. Very good. And then again, walking back to the center all the way to the left side, releasing your bottom hand, upper hand goes over your head, back knee straight. Let's do it once more, releasing your hands, walking toward to the right leg. Make sure your toes facing straight to the side, bending deeply. It's okay, let your knee a little passing your ankle. And then back to rainbow, release and opening up to side body. Breathe in. Exhale, releasing your upper hand down. Keep your knee to knee touch. Send your hips back, child pose. Gently rocking your hips side to side, resting your chest and your forehead. Very good. Moving on to the other side, coming forward to table, extending left leg straight back and swing it all the way to the side, pressing your foot down. Arch in line with your knee, making sure everything good to go for cats and cows. Inhale. Exhale, gently rounding, one vertebra at a time. Inhale, once more. Exhale. Very nice, coming back to neutral. Now let us walking all the way up to the hips, checking your hip is not piking up. Bring your hip down so everything is square and looking straight ahead. Arms out to T-shape, breathe in. Exhale, gently push, softly land. Extending up and feel your side body connection. Lower down toward to the face, toward to your face. Stay two breaths. On your next inhalation, bring your body all the way up and lower down toward to the right side, releasing your bottom hand down. Upper hand goes over your head. Breathe in. Exhale, lower the upper hand down. Turn your toes out, bend your knee deeply and walking both hands toward to the front leg. Very good. And then again, walking back to the center, toward to the right, releasing your bottom hand, upper hand goes over your head, back knee straight, push your hips gently forward. Let's add in once more, release, bend it deeply, walking toward to the left leg. Good job. And then again, walking back to the center, all the way to the right, back knee straight, push your hips, extending long. Breathe in. Lower the upper hand down, keep your knee to knee touch, and sitting up tall in Vajrasana. Very good. Arms out to T-shape, breathe in. Exhale, turn your palms over your head, lengthening long. Exhale, pray your hands down to your heart and by your side. Sit down, please. Legs straight forward and gently shake it out. Just like how we started, we're going to add that and then do that once more and adding some more movements. Open your legs a little wider, plant the palms behind, lifting up to your chest. Breathe in, exhale, lower the legs toward to the right side, walking all the way up to the front leg. Lifting up tall, breathe in. And now as you exhale, lean forward and down and walking your hands Go as far as you can. Lower the belly, chest, and shoulders equally. Stay to breath. One more. 
Very nice. Slowly walking yourself up, please. From here, swing your back leg goes on top of your bottom leg. So your ankle in line with your knee and your knee, upper knee, is in line with your ankle. Lifting up to your chest, fire lock pose. Exhale, gently lean forward and down. If you have more flexibility, you can lower your both hands on top of your front leg. If you have even more flexibility, you can walk your hands all the way forward, maybe your forehead to touch the ground. Stay wherever you are, and we stay two breaths here. Well done. Slowly walking yourself up, lean back, both legs straight forward, and gently shake it out. Good job. Lean back, knees together, keep your inner thighs and knees touch, and gently rocking side to side. Three, two, and one. Open your legs again, a little wider than shoulder distance, and now twist toward to the left side. Walking your both hands on top of your front leg, lifting up to your chest, breathe in. Exhale, let us hinging deeply into your hip joints, lean forward and down. Extending arms straight forward, resting both shoulders, feel your hips, glutes. Soften your jaw, relax your tongue. Very good. Mindfully walking yourself up, please. This time swing your back leg all the way forward. Opening up to your inner thigh. Drop your ankle on top of your knee. Knee in line with your ankle. Fire lock pose, so this looks different from easy cross leg position, right? So almost into 90 degree, lifting up to your chest, breathe in, exhale, gently lean forward and down. Lower your hands down on top of your leg. See if you can go a little bit further. This is my maximum stretch. I'm going to stop here and resting, not resting and hanging out, but I'm going to be breathing into my hip joints here. Stay two more breaths. Beautiful. Carefully walking yourself back up, please. Lean back. This time, get your legs straight forward again. And gently shake it out. We're going to lay down and continue a little bit more. Scoop yourself forward, hold behind your knees, and let's slowly roll all the way down to the back. Extending arms up, legs straight down, nice and long, one line body stretch. Exhale, bend your knees, arms relax down, and go ahead, gently rocking side to side. Bring your legs back to the center from here. You're going to scoop your right foot underneath your left leg and extending left hand to catch your foot, pull it up high, lower your right leg down. If this is too much, your lower back is feeling too much, then you don't need to go too far. So releasing your foot further down and resting your lower back and arms out to T-shape. If you have more space, pull it up higher. And if you have more space, pull your left leg close to your chest. Chin slide, tuck down, shoulders soften. Breathe into the area where you're feeling the most right now. Stay one more breath. Together, extending both legs straight down, arms up over your head. 
Exhale, pulling your both knees, close your chest, opening up to your inner thighs, flexing your feet, and make your way to happy baby pose. You may hold down to your knees or up to your ankles or up to your feet. Gently rocking side to side. Extending leg one at a time. Notice how you feel around your hips and hamstrings. Maybe both legs nice and wide open. Very good. Extending both legs straight up, arms up, and drop the feet down, knees bending, arms out to T-shape. Go ahead, gently rocking side to side again. You're almost there, moving on to the left side. Knees up, this time needle and thread. Bring your left foot underneath your right foot. Relax your left hip down, relax your shoulders and lower back. Only if you have more space, catch further to your foot, pull up higher. If you have more space, pull your right knee close to your chest. You could definitely feel a lot happening on your left quadricep. If your quads are usually tight, that could be the cause of tight hips as well. So it's really important that we're not only focusing on hip joints when we are moving our body, because our body is all connected. Stay a few more breaths. Very nice. Extending both legs straight down, arms back up again over your head. Exhale once more, happy baby pose. Gently rocking side to side. Opening up your both legs as wide as you could again. Beautiful. Releasing both legs straight down, arms up over your head, long one line body stretch. Exhale, bend your knees, roll over to one side, pause for a moment. And push yourself up to comfortable seated pose. Notice how you feel around your hips all the way to the back. Perhaps you can sit up a little bit taller. Perhaps you can relax a little bit more around your hips, your inner thighs. Prayer hands at your heart, thinking to yourself, making this moment for your body, mind, and spirit. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you have any requests, don't forget to leave in the comments and let me know how your practice is going. I'll see you again on the next class. Namaste.